Well, I was gonna come down here and try and film a little bit of a video, me escaping Ushuaia, but it's just so windy here that uh, the normal camera won't work, so I'm using the mic and the helmet. But here we are at Ushuaia, you see all the cruise ships. At the end of the world, you got some military ships out there. The waves, this is the Beagle Channel helicopter over there. And after about, spent about a week in Ushuaia, went to the Antarctica for 10 days. And after like almost two years, I got to uh, Ushuaia and now I'm not heading south anymore. I'm going to start heading north for the first time in a couple years. I'm not ready to leave South America yet. So we're going to head north into Brazil. I would like to go through Venezuela. But it looks like the visa might be a little bit of a problem for me because I'm not very good at planning. But anyway, let's see. We're going to head up to Buenos Aires. Uh, I think it's going to take about a week. I don't think there's a huge amount to see on the way. So we're just going to do sort of a highlight. So let's get going and uh, show you what's on the way. Gassy, clean on the gas. All the us. So third day out from Ushuaia, 
Uh, I've been doing about 700 kilometers a day. There's like nothing in the roads. There's like one little town. There's a gas station every 150 or 200 kilometers. Stayed last night in Comodoro Rivadavia. And today we left, we're on the road, uh, 200 kilometers to the gas station, and they have no gas. There is no gas here. Uh, I got about half a tank and three liters spare. I don't know if it's enough to get me there. If I go really, really slow, it should be fine. If I go the speed's been going about 120, 130, I will not make it. Uh, it's funny, I've carried this uh, inflatable fuel bag through Patagonia thinking I might need it. Just yesterday, I was thinking about putting it in the tank because I thought, oh, I won't need it. There's always gas stations. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of it, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I was talking to a guy here uh, in a car and he's gonna let me follow him, break the air resistance a little bit. And if I run out of gas, I just flash the lights. He'll stop, pull over and go get gas and bring it back to me. So I should hopefully make it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so no gas here, but my friend Charlie that's pulling out, he said I could follow him. And if I run out of gas, he will bring me some. Man, people are so helpful. Argentinian people are lovely. But I said, just follow him. We'll go relatively slow to conserve gas. And if I run out, flash my lights and he'll bring me some. Just traveling to this family, what a nice guy. So I got about three quarters of a tank. I've only been getting out of a full tank going at about 130 I've only been getting about 200 kilometers so I definitely don't have enough at the speeds I was going to get there so I'm going a little slow maybe 100 110 we'll see what Charlie does hopefully I make it I got about just under three quarters of a tank so this is what it's been like for the majority of days just nothing uh, for the last three days like almost 2,000 kilometers at this point. There's just been nothing, except the gas stations and a handful of little towns and the one big city, obviously, but really just absolutely nothing. There's a lot more cars today though, but thank God for Charlie here. My fuel economy is considerably better, letting him just push through the air. And uh, it's gonna be a close thing. Thanks to Charlie, got down to one bar without having that three liters reserve I had. With him breaking the wind resistance, I don't think I'd make it. Ah. Buenas. Puedo poner mi moto en la oscura. Gracias. Caloroso. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <Buenísimo>. Gracias. <laughs> All right, start of day, I think it's four. Uh, when I do the video, I'll know. You can see behind me is the gas station, EPF and YPF. And uh, there's no gas. Uh, this is the third station I've gone to. There's no gas. Uh, again, have about half a tank and it's like huge distances to the next gas stations. Um, there is a town about 10 kilometers off the road. They've told me there might be gas there, so we're gonna go check it out, but I don't know what's going on. Like Argentina's never been a problem for gas and they just haven't had gas the last few days, so. Oh! <laughs> five six whatever it is bright and early not so early early for me uh and i went out to check the bike and it looks like it rained overnight so the sheepskin got soaked i didn't realize it was going to rain or could rain 
Uh, so that's soaked. I should have taken it in, but didn't think about it. But then I look down and there's this huge trail of ants leading from my bike to my bike. So it looks like my bike has a colony of ants now. I uh, don't know how this happened. It's very strange though, because it goes from the tire and they don't go past the tire. So somehow the big giant line goes from the tire all the way over here to my kickstand. And there's just, look how many there is on the kickstand. And they go all the way up. Look at that. Oh. And then I don't know where they go. There's not too many. There's a couple around here. But look at that, how many there is. And then I don't know over here, they don't go past the tire. So I don't know where they've all come from on the tire. And then here, this is just brutal. Look how many there are. so happy to arrive in Buenos Aires that I realized I didn't even film an end to the video so this is the end we're in the beautiful city of Buenos Aires uh, we're staying in Palermo Hollywood so Palermo is the nicest area apparently but it's really really big so it's subdivided this is Hollywood and right across from my balcony you can see that's a movie studio there big movie studio so anyway that was my video from Ushuaia to Buenos Aires route the place the most boring route in the world although it was quite interesting for me uh, definitely days of not a whole lot to see but um, the people I met some of the things along the way definitely cool ride not the most interesting I've done but cool nonetheless and now I'm gonna rest up for a week or two in Buenos Aires been on the road for quite a while so just kind of rest and plan the rest of my adventure uh, I wasn't exactly sure I kind of only planned as far as getting to Buenos Aires and then I wasn't sure, continue around the world, continue home, I don't know. We're definitely going to go at least to Uruguay, Paraguay, Brazil, possibly Venezuela, but it looks like the visa is a problem. Um, anyway, I have a week or two to figure it out, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one, wherever that is.